Hey man, what's your name? What's up? I'm Ben Stierick. My channel is Unfazed Review. If you guys want to check it out, RVR TV, fantastic. Love you, Russ. Hey mom, dad, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Ben. Of course, guys. See ya. Oh, Russ here, RVR TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're in Phoenix, electric bikes. We're going to go get us an electric bike like right now. I cannot wait. Let's go meet the crew. Good morning. Hey, man. Wow. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. good. What's your name? Alex. Hi, Alex. How you be? I'm good. Good. Yeah. I'm here to see Christian. Yes. Christian's actually right over here. Okay. Thanks. You're very welcome. Hey, Russ. How are you doing? Hey, Christian. <laughs> good to see you. Russ, we're going from our showroom. And one thing I like to point out, actually, is... This was part of our design when we completely remodeled this building and everything like this, is uh, we wanted to create a uh, window from the world of CSRs and my customers, and for my customer service reps to constantly be reminded who they're serving, right? So uh, as we have customers come in and everything, they remember that they're serving you know, people that may have uh, physical disability. So we should be reminding them how our bike is gonna help them get out there and explore again. Uh, and it you know, kind of just reminds also our design team, who are we building this bike for? Who are we building this company for? So it kind of constantly creates this window that we can see into what our customer looks like, which is really cool. And the, the customer side, what's really special, is they get to see the actual guts of the operation and get to appreciate you know, the really amazing people that make up electric and the hard work that gets put in so they can actually see some of this so it's it's really special and this was one of our design decisions is we want to have really open lines of communication with our customers and you know this is just one of the ways to do it is straight up looking at each other so that's really cool so this team uh, right here, right now, there's about 35 people on the customer service team. Um, and then along the side here is the whole executive team. Um, what's really cool about all these offices is there's windows that go into the test ride trail. So I love that, once again, because for me personally, I constantly see test riders. So I remember, you know, who did I design this bike for and who yes. am I building this company for? And so it's just a constant reminder as every test rider goes down that trail, the whole exact team can see it. But yeah, so this is our customer service team. They're working you know, seven days a week and they crush it. Honestly, we're the best in the industry, I would say, by a very large margin. Um, this is one of the details we obsess over. Um, the simple reality is uh, I can't sell the world's best bike for $9.99. It's not possible. You can't do it. You know, you need carbon fiber, you need the best components, and it's going to cost you probably close to $20,000. But what I can do is offer the best customer service at $9.99. So that's what we do. So this is actually our conference room, but it you know transitions into our uh, ping pong table. So. A lot of competitive games, a lot of beef and squash in there, so it's it's really great to have uh, as an outlet for relief. Uh, community associates, this is Callie. Hi. She does all of our uh, uh, Instagram and Facebook comments, and social media, and all that fun stuff. So uh, she gets to you know have direct communication with a lot of our customers, so that's really sweet. Fun. So follow us on all of our social platforms, <laughs> Electric Eva. Bikes are scattered everywhere, all the time, uh, through it with the customer. Uh, this is our break room. One thing I really like here is this is our custom wallpaper we had made. It's just a bunch of fun. We had it custom made for us. So, uh, And this is where we break bread. This is our game room that we have. Our game room, the reason we have a video game room is Rob and I first met playing video games back when we were you know, in fifth or sixth grade. So we met playing Xbox, and then we met in real life eventually, and then transformed and created this business together. One of the questions we had in those early days was, you know, of electric e-bikes was, what do we name the bike? And we wanted to go back to our video game roots. And so that's why the electric XP is called the XP is because of experience points in video games. So <laughs> it's kind of a fun, nerdy thing of us, but uh, it, it kind of shows that Rob and I's DNA is very much in this. Hey guys. All right. And this is Robbie. 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 Hey is, Rob. Uh, 
Nice to meet you. Russ, how this you is, doing, man? Nice to meet you, yeah. yeah nice meeting so, you. Robbie's the chief innovation officer, really the brains behind the bike, and you know, he has probably one of the most difficult jobs in the world because I come to him with some absurd, crazy ideas, <laughs> and then he has to actually create it and uh, do the hard part of it. But uh, yeah, it's been him and I rocking and rolling childhood friends and uh, now we get to kind of have the world's best job together so uh yeah it, it's been a fun journey for the two of us i would say so far life is good you're the engineer huh? i'm the engineer yeah you do yeah. well you do very well <laughs> thank you i appreciate that very yeah. impressive thank you very much yeah yeah, yeah yeah we try we do our best so we yeah. got a uh, a lot of really cool stuff in the works uh yeah. that we'll probably get to show you in a couple minutes here just around the corner yeah cool. um so well and one of the cool things I would say uh, about Robbie's job in particular is we created the foundation with the XV, but the 2.0 and then the step through and then even future models coming down the pipeline, this is heavily inspired by customer you know, suggestion. So a lot of the time Robbie and I just go through customer suggestions, whether it's in comment sections of videos and emails and calls, all that fun stuff. We just kind of dissect it and then it's really our customers and potential customers that make designing the bike uh, easier for us. So all we have to do is please you guys and uh, we try to do our best with it. So yeah, it, cool. it's kind of the fun part of Robbie and I's job. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So this is one of our warehouses uh, and we're actually transitioning uh, some of our warehousing out of this facility because we'll be converting more of this to more office space to further expand our team and operations here. But so this warehouse here is about uh, 12,000 square feet. The new warehouse we have is, uh, you know, about 20 minutes from here and that's about 50,000 square feet. So it's, I was talking to Christian, but it's just so cool the iterations electric has gone through in really two years. So two years ago, it was you know the three of us and two other friends in Christian's garage, which was maybe a 300 square feet, yeah. you know. And then we thought we blew up, and then we had a 7,000 square foot building. We thought we were kings of the world, and then we get to this building where this total building is 25,000 square feet, and we thought there's no way we're gonna max this out. Well, then we max this one out, and now we have this one 25,000 square feet plus a 50,000 square feet. Uh, building in-house in addition to some uh, outsourced warehousing as well. So it's just like been so crazy this trajectory we've been on uh, and I don't know it's really fun and we're super grateful but this is our content studio. Um, being a direct-to-consumer brand and an electric bike company that sells you a bike fully assembled and kind of shows up to you, um, we want to be able to empower the customer on how to you know, work on their bike, keep up with their bike, maintain their bike uh, by themselves. So this was one of the investments we made is this studio here, you know, it has recording studio there as well. But this is uh, dedicated to helping get more content on your bike. And it's really professional and done. We actually already have started to build out our video library pretty significantly so far. Um, and we're gonna continue to make that investment because we've seen a direct result from our customers and more you know a great deal of appreciation from them as well as we continue to make those videos because it's just so easy once you start to understand your bike you really know how it works and how to better take care of it so kind of everybody wins on that front and the bike's plenty happy as well <laughs> so so this is our our uh, skunk works more or less so this is where we're constantly taking apart putting together bikes actually every single member of the team is required to completely take apart and then put a bike back together so they can really know and truly appreciate the complexity of the bike and better understand so then they can better serve technicians bike specialists everybody kind of goes through here and we just this is also kind of where the fun's at, truthfully. This is where we get to make really crazy prototypes and try to like push the boundaries of speed and performance. Um, not always due to regulations, do those fun things get to see the light of day, um, but it does make going to work quite a bit funner. So uh, this is one of the most fun parts about the company is just a continued progression of the product and modification. So uh, yeah, really, really cool on this front. But let's go. 
currently no. This is the only location we jump right out of. So keep it in the shade. Yeah. Hey, what you doing, huh? Look at that nose, huh? Look at that nose. <laughs> hey, bud. Um, handlebars, self-locking mechanism. You got to pull up on the ball, pull out, and that'll fold. Then the frame folds similarly, just comes apart. Look at that. Give it a fold and we are ready for transport. You can also fold the side of the pedal. And with the derailleur guard as well, you can lay the bike on its side. Just so it's not you know, tipping over, standing straight up. Get it back together. Fold it. back in business so really quick the frame for a reason if the keys were on top and it rains the battery itself would get damaged if they were on the side then your knees might clip it and break the keys off so the keys are kind of out of sight out of mind locked in place we'll come up here to the top turning on the screen you hold the power button right here and the screen comes on so here at the top you see how much charge is left speed, level of pedal assist, and odometer. Uh, right now in pedal assist level zero, it's just like any typical bike. Just pedals like normal, battery's not on. Um, we also have a seven speed gear shifter up here on the right. If I click this button, we shift to a higher gear. If I press this lever forward, we shift down. Then to use pedal assist, we have the plus and minus button over here. Click the plus button, we go to level one. Click it again, level two so on and so forth to level five. Five is the fastest and one is the slowest. So all you do is just start to pedal. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the motor just kicked in. And then if you stop pedaling, motor turns off and then you're just gonna coast to an to a eventual stop. So level one of pedal assist gets you going right around seven miles per hour. Level two is about 11 miles per hour, so on and so forth to level five, which can get you up to 28 miles per hour. Oh my goodness. Yeah, pretty quick. Um, and that's not even the fun part. <laughs> fun part's the throttle. So if you get tired and just want to sit back and relax, you don't even have to pedal anymore. Throttle, give it a twist, and the bike goes on its own. Mm. So let's say you're halfway done with your trip and you're tired, just want to make it home sit back at that throttle, you're gonna cruise right home. Um, throttle is active in levels one through five of pedal assist. If we go back to level zero again, there's no power. But as soon as we're in at least level one, the throttle works. We have both the brakes up here. We have the front brake on the left and the rear brake on the right. Both brakes are connected by wire to the motor. So whenever any brake is being used, it'll turn off all motor function. It's probably the best safety feature on the bike, so you're never fighting the motor to come to a stop. So for example, even holding the front brake, and I try to throttle, nothing happens. So when in doubt, hit the brakes, it's gonna turn everything off. A yep. um, Couple small features before we go for a spin. Um, all of our bikes come integrated with a front light and a tail light. To turn on those lights, you hold the plus button for a few seconds. This shows up on your screen. That means both your front and your tail light are on at this point. Turning those off, you hold the plus button again, and that icon goes away, the, the light's just turned off. On the contrary, there's a minus button here. If I hold that, that will put the bike into walk mode or walk assist. So what that's good for is, let's say you come across some stairs, or super steep hill, you know, anything you don't want to push the 60 pound bike up yourself. If I hold the minus button, the bike starts to walk with me. <laughs> so, also, you know, heaven forbid, if you get a flat tire out in the desert, it's not hard to push a bike around with a flat tire, yeah. but it will walk with you with that walk motion. Nice. Um, last feature, which is probably my favorite, is cruise control just like a car <laughs> so to do that you twist the throttle 
until you reach a speed that you want to go consistently. And then keeping your hand on the throttle, hold that minus button, cruise control pops up on your screen and then you can be hands free. <laughs> as I said before, hitting the brakes will turn everything off. On. Right now we're in level zero, so nothing is happening. We're just pedaling a normal bike. Okay. Um, if you want to put it to level one, you can click the plus button up here. Yep. And okay. if you're comfortable, you can just give that throttle a little twist. So there you go. How's the ride? Oh man, I love this thing. Well, how impressive. I mean, five-star customer service. A bike that sells less than a thousand bucks. Okay, sounds good. Absolutely, everyone's trained and hands-on experience on the bike. So if you're talking to someone on the phone, guess what? They know what nut and bolt goes where. <laughs> you, so well thought out. And sales speak a, a volume right there. Look, they're exploding in sales. Guess what? These guys are going to be at the big tent in Quartzsite. Yay! So you can check them out in Quartzsite. It's perfect for an RV. It folds up. It fits in the back of the van. <laughs> what a simple design, but so well built. The ride was great. Right here in North Phoenix, too. You can just come on in, schedule a test ride. Away you go. Too cool for school. Got the bike loaded back of the van. I'm heading for the desert, back to Quartzsite. We're gonna go have fun on this bike. Down description, there's all kinds of links. Click them, get you one. Electric bike, right here out of Phoenix.